All right, hey guys, this is going to be my top six Mac apps. There's a lot of these floating around YouTube, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys mine. So let's open this up, and I'll just start up here. This is Mac Keeper. It just glitched out and doesn't want to show the title right now, but you can see that it's Mac Keeper. Um, this one actually isn't free, but I put it in here because the demo helped me out quite a bit. Um, you can come down here to one click scan. I'm going to stop it because I don't actually want to scan right now, but it'll go through it'll go through all these different categories. Um, I don't even know what half of these are, but it'll go oh for example language cutter language is cutter. I had all the files from all sorts of different languages that I don't know, don't plan on ever learning, don't want to know don't even want them on my computer and it went through and it got rid of them I think I kept I might have like kept I think English and Spanish on there because I'm in Spanish but that got rid of a bunch of those uh, another one old files finder uh, that one it'll scan it says I got six gigs that I can delete but uh, I like my old files so I didn't I could tell it not to delete those and then duplicates finder I had so many of these it was ridiculous it was like 40 gigs or something. It was a ton of duplicates and I got rid of all those, freed up some space and it says down here, I got it. I think you get 30 days. So I got it 19 days ago. And that, I mean, if you want to get that, the link will be in the description, but that freed up quite a bit of my space or my hard drive. All right. And then the next one I'm going to show you is anxiety. And I really like this one because it's it's one of those apps that just sits there. It stays up on top of everything. No matter what you pull up, it'll stay there. Uh, you can just exit out of it and it'll go away. And then if you want it to come back, just hit the little check mark. You can add add things to it. Um, make top apps vid. And then once I do this, I just click it off and it goes away. And you can shrink that down to just however many you want. It just sits there. It's really, and it syncs with your uh, iCal, so I guess if you're one of those people, it'll sync up to that. And the next one's Aptana, Aptana Studio 2.0. Uh, this is where I edit all of my HTML in CSS and JavaScript and all that fun stuff. It does sometimes take a little while to load up, but we'll, let's go here. But I really like it. It has all the syntax highlighting and finishes your um, finishes your. I'll show you for example. Let's say we want to do a bold tag. It'll see how it finishes it for you. And I didn't even type anything there. And you just say like blah blah, and then you don't have to close your tag. But uh, another thing is you get these tabs up here. That's pretty helpful. Let's see if I can show you guys all the uh, oops. all the um, type of stuff they support. So as you can see here, I mean, if you use any of this, I don't even know what half these things are. But these can pretty much ensure that you're going to have syntax highlighting for those. Yeah, and there's all those. But you can download more uh, plugins for, say, like... Uh, I think they have one for C or C++ or something, but all right. And the next one's going to be comical. Um, this is a pretty small, oops. All right. Next one's going to be comical. It's a pretty small program. Um, so as you can see, if you're into comics, like here's a dot CBZ file and this is Batman, the dark Knight returns, uh, you can go in here and open it up, but I'll just show you guys that all your uh, CBZ files default to open up Comical. And this is CBZ, I think also uh, CBR is the same thing. There's two extensions for it. But you can just come in here and then if you are into comics, I think that's mostly what they're used for. But it's pretty much a bunch of images compiled into... Uh, oops, it's a huge image. But they're compiled into uh, these CBZ or CBR files. And then you can go around. Oh, I need to 
tweak my settings so I don't have to scroll, but, oh, there it goes, nope, but you can just read your comics, I actually have this one in print, so I just got it for an example, but, yeah, if you're into comics, that's a pretty cool one. Alright, and then next is going to be FileZilla. This is what I use my FTP with. Oops. But, yeah. Um, I've tried out a few others like Cyberduck and there's one other FTP program I use, but FileZilla so far has been my favorite. Uh, yeah, just upload your files. It seems simple enough. And that's FileZilla. And then lastly is going to be VLC. It's said to be one of the diverse media players. Um, pretty much any video file, any, you know, whatever you want to throw at it, it can handle, it'll play it for you. And it's got some pretty cool functions. Like it'll, uh, you know how some videos have audio sync issues, say, like, th you know, the audio is off half a second, you can actually alter it so that the it'll actually play the audio half a second before, so it'll line up with their lips, you know? I don't know if that makes sense, but that's a cool function. And you can go full screen and video or audio, and, and there's subtitles normally, but there's that. And then it looks like it's it. That was my, I was going to do five, but then I decided to put comical in there. Um, and that's pretty much that. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, one last thing is we're looking for forum mods over at our site. So if you've ever wanted, it's a tech and gaming forum. So if you've ever wanted to be a forum mod, head over there. Link will be down there. And we hope to see you guys over there. All right, thanks.